Well, hey everyone, this video is called Maximizing Business Value with ESG Consulting. Do you need a right size ESG strategy for your company and you don't have anybody on staff that deals with ESG specifically? Maybe you're getting pressure to meet new sustainability requirements from your large customers. Well, I've seen it. You can maximize the value of your business by working with an ESG consultant and tackling some of these things. An ESG consultant can help you in three ways. We're going to cover that. I'm going to also give you three customer success stories quickly to show you ways that an ESG consultant can really help. And finally, we'll end with three ways to get started. All right, let's jump in. Well, thanks again for watching. I'm so glad you're here. Quick intro on what ESG is again. So you can remember ESG is environmental social governance. Some people used to call this CSR or corporate social responsibility. Some people call it sustainability. It's kind of all the same thing. Basically, it means when another party outside your business, like a consultant or an advisor, can jump into your business and help you write environmental policies or track greenhouse gas emissions or take a peek at your modern slavery policy, see if you're doing diversity, equity, inclusion, and on and on. But basically, a good consultant will kind of join your team fractionally in a way, get to know everybody, help you with your baselines, and so on. So there are three main ways that ESG consultants can help companies. The first is strategic integration of ESG principles. Basically, that means, are you doing the things that ESG covers? And usually there are 14 main themes and they cover what you'd expect, energy, water, waste, greenhouse gas emissions, procurement even, wages, terms, and on and on. Two is compliance and reporting assistance. So maybe you've been asked to get a certification or meet some ISO standard, for example, or report in a specific regulatory framework. And three is performance improvement. This is the fun part, making sure that you're actually meeting your new targets and your training and engaging with your stakeholders, like your employees and anybody inside and outside the company. The first way is making sure that you're integrating all of the ESG principles that you need. So usually what I do is take a pause and take a peek at the 14 main themes of ESG, just to see if clients are not only paying their energy bills, for example, but also tracking it and setting targets to maybe reduce their impact or their consumption. So this is the point where I'm also reviewing lots of policies and figuring out if they're doing some of these things like diversity, equity, inclusion, or human rights or health and safety, if they have a whistleblower policy, for example. So not only would you want to integrate this into the company, but before you do that, you want to take a pulse to see how good is your business at this and where are the gaps. The second way an ESG consultant can help is all about compliance and reporting assistance. And I see this a lot. So customers will come to me and, and say, I need to pass this new EcoVadis thing, or I need to do reporting in a specific standard, like the task force on climate related financial disclosure, for example. And so in order to do that, we again need our baselines and we need some targets, but we need to know where your business fits in and what is material to them. And then you can kind of easily start reporting. And usually reporting looks like some quantitative and qualitative information for people to read. It's usually organized, it's usually very specific, and it's not very fluffy. So for example, if you're reporting in SASB, for example, as an IT accessory company, there are specific areas you need to talk about and ways you need to calculate data. So it could be your impact across scope one and two, calculated in a specific way across a baseline year. And then you would create sort of an Excel table that you would put in a report for people to view. And you would even be able to submit that to that regulatory body. Or if you need to comply or uh, get a scorecard in EcoVadis, for example, you would open up a new questionnaire, you would submit all of your information, upload policies, input data, and click submit, and then see how they grade you at the end of the day. So a consultant can help you do all that, and uh, they've definitely done it before, so they can be a little more efficient than uh, maybe if somebody on your team had to learn it. And finally, an ESG consultant can help your business improve its performance and talk to its stakeholders. So this is actually happening with a client that I have right now. I'm doing an employee survey before we even begin to just take a pulse of how employees view ESG. If they have any ideas out the, uh, at the outset and to see if they want to get involved in some kind of a sustainability committee, for example, or if you know they're really interested in helping the company reduce their energy consumption, that sort of thing. Um, and it's also really important to make sure you're training everybody. So once you complete all the phases 
of ESG strategy build at your company, you want to tell everyone about it. So maybe you want to tell them where you are today, and then maybe you want to tell them some of the cool initiatives you're kicking off for the year. So uh, not only talking to your stakeholders, but also improving your performance. So maybe you've made a goal to reduce greenhouse gas emissions by 2030 um, by 45%, for example. And so that's a great target to have, but how are you gonna get there? So you need to come up with ways or initiatives, we call them, or measures in order to do that, reduce your impact, and then finally track it every quarter or every year. So an external consultant can absolutely help you with that. They even are connected and maybe can suggest some vendors to help you with energy reduction, for example, or EV charging stations, and you get the gist. Uh, they, can, they can definitely help you there. So to get started with an ESG consultant, usually it's kind of three steps. One is you reach out to them. Maybe you can do your research on uh, if they've worked with clients before in your industry. Two is have a quick call with them. It's nice to just get on the line with somebody and talk through your needs. That's probably a good point for you to tell them uh, who's asking you. So maybe it's your investors asking you or your bank or two big customers are asking you uh, for ESG. So it's good to get into the weeds on ex specifically what the goal line looks like. And then finally, they'll assess, create a plan for you, tell you your investment, and you can kick off. All right, thanks so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful and best of luck to you as you begin your sustainability journey at your company. Have a good one.